globally, and we mean globally, men have significantly woken up. Significantly. Men have started to realize the standards they have to have. Have to have for relationships. Because if men don't hold a standard to their kingdom, their kingdom will be not only tarnished, but ruined. Women want relationships, but they don't want to commit correctly to relationships. They want it to be what they want it to be. They want it to be the way they want it to be, which means they want to lead men. And that's not how this works, unfortunately, for y'all. It's not how it works. Never has, never will work that way. Ever. Ever. And this is, this is a huge reason as to why men have woken up. Because they're starting to see the way women truly are today. And it is what it is. It just is what it is. Like, bro, <laughs> they can do that. They can, r relationships could completely die. It is what it is. Might be the end of times. I don't know. And no, it won't be. Many people are together today, but we're just saying, like, a lot of the world's mess, bro. A lot of this world is messed. Me and a lot of boys around here, like, we even talk and go on, like, bro, we are cooked. <laughs> we are cooked, brother. Like, look at this. Look at this. Let me see. First, I just want to read this off. This is some girl on a dating site. Her name is Kel. I just took a screenshot of this because I thought it was hilarious. She said, we'll get along if you have golden retriever energy. <laughs> like, bro, women expect us to behave like a golden retriever? You think I'm a golden retriever? Just, just, just for you to fit into your life to be the way you want me to be. You, you, you want me to have the energy of a golden retriever. How about you can be a female pit bull to me? You can, you can act and behave like a female pit bull, loyal to the bone. As soon as I walk the door, you're all gonna be all happy to see me and stuff like this and you're gonna value me and you're gonna love me and everything else, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you want, you want, You'll get along with a man if he be if he has golden retriever energy. This is hilarious, bro. <laughs> and something else as well. These are some notes here. And this is why we're cooked. Think about this, guys. I'm about to read off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Bible verses. Quick ones, just quick little ones. Proverbs. 3111, Proverbs 3124, Proverbs 711, Ephesians 52224, Timothy 2910, just all these. But this right here, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's women you should avoid as a man of God. You can't, you probably can't really see it, but yeah, we're about to read this. As a man of God, you should avoid women. A woman who is not faithful or trustworthy. Fellas, how many women today is faithful or trustworthy? We're not going to say all aren't, but how many? That's, that's the question here, how many? Not that many. Lots of women today just want to run around, do whatever they want, go crazy, not preserve themselves. And men always get the blame, bro. Men always get the blame. Always, always, always. It's always us. 
It's always us getting the blame. Y'all ain't listening to us. Here's the next. A woman who is lazy and is not productive. How many women today go on, I'm not cooking, I'm not cleaning, ba ba da ba da ba da ba da Like, <laughs> lazy and unproductive. How many? We're not going to say all women. There's like, bro, there's women who probably has none of these red flags. There is. But how many? That's the question. How many? So, as a man of God, you should avoid a woman who is lazy and is not productive. The next one, number three. A woman who goes out a lot and is not content to stay at home. Fellas, how many women so far out of these three check off all three of these boxes? I don't even know if I know one. I don't know if I know one, I don't think. They probably exist. I don't know one. And you know what they say? They just go off thinking like they should just be some slave. Bro, y'all want to go out and, and go crazy. Why should a man of value, why should a man of God co 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 commit seriously to a woman who wants to go out and go crazy? It's not that you can never go out, but if you do go out, it should be with your man. You shouldn't want to go out. Like, bro, let's say if I have the woman of my dreams in my life. I ain't going to want to go out with any of my guy friends once. And go, like, partying. Bro, why? I don't even like to drink. I don't even like most people. I don't like these loud environments and going. It, it, it wastes my energy. It takes energy. I barely want to do that being single, let alone having the woman of my dreams in my life. So why? Should women want to do this while having the best man ever commit to them? It makes no sense. But so many women today, they want the right commitment from the right man, but they want to go around and do those things. So, and you know what they say whenever you question them? Oh, you're so controlling and all this stuff. <laughs> he wants to protect what's supposed to be his. Yes, if you're in a relationship, ladies, you are his. He is yours. Y'all's a team. You cannot disrespect the relationship. That's disrespecting the relationship. That's going above boundaries. You don't do it. You be single if you want to do those things. And this is why there's so many women who are single today. This is number four. A woman who does not submit to you. Ephesians 5, 22, 24. As a man of God, you should avoid a woman who does not submit to you. She won't listen to you. She just, psh, are argumentative, all this kind of stuff. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's one that's listed here as well. So that's number four. So out of all these four so far, how many women are submissive? Content to be at home, stay at home. It don't mean you're just locked home, but you're content to be at home, stay at home, do some things and stuff like this. And a woman who's productive, so let's say you're at home or something and you're productive, you can clean the place, you can cook some stuff, you can you can do certain things, you can get groceries. Like It's not like your man's not doing nothing. He's probably paying every bill possible. So I don't understand why these things are a problem today. I, I, I don't get it. And on top of that, a woman who is faithful or trustworthy, how many are today? Most women that's even relationships in marriages, bro, are talking to other men while having a husband, while having a boyfriend and stuff like this. It's completely insane. If I actually have a, like, if I had a committed girlfriend, if I had like a relationship, it's officially official or a marriage, she don't talk to one other man besides me or unless it's her father her brother, her cousin. You do not talk to another man. You don't. You just don't. I'm not going to talk to another woman. You don't talk to another man. You just don't. You just don't do it. That's being unfaithful. That stuff leads to other things. It does. 
Now, if you're at work or something, then it's gonna happen, but you don't specifically target other men, talk to other men, talk on your cell phone to other men while you have a husband. You can be busy doing something that's gonna benefit the lives of both of y'all, just like your husband's doing every single day. Ridiculous. Here is number five. As a man of God, you should avoid a woman who dresses immodestly in a way that will draw eyes to her body. Fellas, out of these five so far, how many women today dress appropriately and don't flaunt herself all over online? How many? And I fully understand myself, not every woman is going to be perfect and have all these things, but you have to really be careful what you're doing as a man when you're actually going to commit to a woman. But bro, the, the Bible is strict, bro. Women don't understand like how strict the Bible really is and they don't care. They don't care. They don't, they don't want to know about it. They just want to do whatever they feel like doing and that's why if you listen to women, bro, they'll lead you to fiery pits of hell. And it's their job if they can do it. That's why as a man of value, you have to be strict. You have to be strict. The women I talk to, bro, they're going to know instantly if we're starting to try to get to something. They're going to know how strict I am. Like, I'm not overly strict. You don't have to be perfect according to the Bible. Perfect. But most things, you have to be up to par. Have to be, bro. Have to be. Eh, that's five. Let's see six. As a man of God, you should avoid a woman who always argues with you. How many, how many, how many women's just going to be themselves, be more quiet and to themselves and have a good time with you and stuff like that, dude. But like. Lots of women like to argue today, bro. Lots of women love that drama, love to do all that kind of stuff. And oh, yeah. So out of these six so far, we're about to get to number seven. How many guys? Last one. A woman who does not have a prayer life. Now, I'm not even a firm believer in you have to be have this perfect prayer life, but I think you should pray to God at least sometimes and more, more often than you probably do. I acknowledge God and God's presence and existence every single day of my life. I'm always having these prayers. I don't really, you don't have to say prayers even with your words out loud. You can, and I do sometimes. I have quiet prayers in my head that I'm talking in my head. I can be in the middle of a workout, bro, and I'm just, I can, I, I'm in my zone. I can feel the presence of God and I'm, and I'm doing things like, like I, I just acknowledge God's presence and I just think more people should do it more often. So yeah, out of these seven men, like, bro, most women had, like, most women have none of these today, let alone all of them. And that's why I'm, that that's what I'm saying. Like not, they're not all going to be perfect, but we got work to do. I don't know if there was ever a woman in my life that didn't have a good amount of issues. I don't think I ever have. And the ones that had issues, and when I was more naive, when I was younger and didn't really know the issues, that's when I got burned. And this is why it's important as a man to know who you are, have standards, develop yourself, develop your value as a man, and hold standards firm. Because if you don't, you're going to get burnt. I wish more women would understand this and stop expecting us to just ex like to accept certain things from you that's unacceptable. They can never see it from our point of view, bro. Men of value are building kingdoms out here, bro. Kingdoms. You allow the right, the wrong woman in, your kingdom 
it is not only tarnished, it's destroyed. Women destroy kingdoms if you let them. That's why you have to be strict. That's why women that come into your life have to be submissive. This is why this is important. Because if you just let anything go and let her be who she is and y'all aren't really close and like she doesn't want to listen to you and stuff like this, but she thinks she deserves commitment, insanity. Insanity. Say goodbye, bro. Say goodbye to your kingdom. Say goodbye to your life. Say goodbye. But I won't say goodbye because I hold firm to who I am today. There's many women, bro, that even had potential that had opportunities with me and they fumbled the bag. Whose fault is that? Not mine. Y'all fumbled the bag. I'm going to keep being me. I'm going to keep staying patient. I'm going to keep having the standards I have. We'll see. We'll see who deserves it because only one's going to get it. Golden Retriever energy. You got, you got to be kidding me, boy. You got to be kidding me. But this, this goes to show how, you know, there's a lot of men, bro. There's a lot of men that's awake. There's a lot of men. We're, we're all discussing things amongst each other, bro. And it's like, we're looking at each other and we're laughing about it. Cause like, we don't really even care, but we are cooked, but we are cooked. It's going to take a needle in the haystack. It's going to take a woman who really does things the right way. There, bro, you can get lucky. I promise you, bro, you can get lucky. I wholeheartedly believe I will get lucky. I wholeheartedly believe that. And bro, you can get lucky. Just keep focusing on yourself, bro. You have no idea. Keep focusing on yourself, man. Like, you're gonna win at the end of the day if you keep focusing on yourself. And women would too if they focused on themselves and understood what they have to be to get the better men. <laughs> but like, y'all don't care enough. That's the issue. That's the problem. And it's created this wicked, wicked world uh, of uh, women who uh, expect us to come into their life. Oh yeah. You want me to come to your life and give you golden retriever energy? Golden retrievers are nothing special, but they're happy going dogs. They're nice, amazing dogs, but they're nothing special from a masculinity standpoint. I'm more of a German shepherd, a Belgian Malinois sharpshooter. Golden retriever? You'd love that, wouldn't you? A little submissive, little beta golden retriever. I will not come into your life and, and have golden retriever energy. Like, come on, come on, guys. What are we doing here? But that's what they expect. And uh, it's delusion. Women would prefer us to be something we're not. And uh, that's because they're so brainwashed in modern feminism, they expect us to be submissive. That's basically what they're saying, bro. They don't want us to be this masculine German shepherd, Belgian Malinois, ready to take out anything, guard dot. They don't want us to be that. They want us to have golden retriever energy, but... And it ain't gonna happen. We'll get along. We'll get along if you have golden retriever energy. We'll get along then. So we wouldn't get along if I had the energy of a German Shepherd of Belgium Alma. <sighs> That's too bad, I guess, because I'm never going to give you golden retriever energy. Not happening. But that's what they would prefer today, and that's why everything's so messed up. She ain't the only one. I just, bro, I seen that the other day. I had a screenshot. I thought it was hilarious. Like, bro, women really be saying things uh, like they really want something to come into their life. 
and be a certain way for them. Da, 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 da. It's not how it works. You can compete for us. You can compete for the best men because the best men have a standard and things have to be a certain way in that man's life. Happy king, happy kingdom. Not happy wife, happy life. Because all these morons, bro, that live that way, they're just, they're just doing everything to make their wife happy, all to be miserable in the next years to come. You forgot about yourself, G. You did everything to make her happy and it didn't even work. And now you've become a lesser man because you put in so much work just to try to make her happy. Oh my God, oh my God. Instead of building the kingdom yourself and saying, this is how it's going to be. Happy king, happy kingdom. And in a happy kingdom, the wife is happy as well. Because she's in the right situation in a kingdom with the right man. This is what every single man has to wake up to. Start living and breathing and building your own life and your own kingdom. Be set in stone in what you're doing. This is how it is. No exceptions. The women are going to come and you're going to accept what you're going to accept and you're going to decline what you're going to decline. That's how it's going to go. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.